Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Barry. Welcome back to my channel. I help people teach on the internet. And in today's video, we're going to explore those core values and tease out some of the things that you can do to get core values in place for your community. Thanks for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the four core values that define what we are going to be doing and what we are going to be building. But before we do that, let's just zoom out for a second and look at why core values are so important to communities. And I think to do that, for me at least, there's no better place to start than the country that I have become a citizen of, the United States. The United States was formed on very clear and very well-defined core values. These core values have stood the test of time almost 300 years now and have really defined and shaped the nation as from its infancy to where it is now. The values that I'm talking about, of course, are that all men are created equal and that we have unalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, what do those values do for you? If you're American, they fill you with inspiration and aspiration to be better, to build something better, to work with your fellow Americans to do that. If you're not American looking in, I know, at least from my perspective, when I, before I moved here, they're an ideal. They're a very clear description of what America can be. The declaration goes on to say they believe in a government by the people for the people. A very, very radical idea at the time. And again, something that's just so clear and has completely stood the test of time. So it has defined what the society is like to this day. Zooming in a little bit more, we've got On Deck as a company. Now they have four guiding values on the website, which have really defined what On Deck is to this day. From its early beginnings as a, as a sort of dinner, a get together for, for founders that were looking for their next thing. Those four values are service, sacredness, gratitude, and family. Service believes that On Deck is isn't bigger than any one person, that the community thrives on the spirit of service. Sacredness is to do with the idea that everything is off the record. People who join on deck are working on exciting new things for their career, often don't want to tell people about that until it's a real thing. Gratitude has to do with the fact that you've got all these amazingly ambitious, creative, smart, kind people coming together in a community that just doesn't exist anywhere else. So how amazing is that? And finally, family has to do with the fact that once you're a fellow, you're part of the On Deck family. Fellows are encouraged to be inclusive, and to stick together and to support each other. So many of those values that I just talked about there, again, define how people interact with each other. From people looking in from the outside, it shows you, you know, what kind of community we're trying to build. And there's an inspirational and aspirational feature to it that draws people in who are not quite sure yet what it's all about. So what is the On Deck Course Creator Fellowship? all about. Now, I'm extremely grateful that I get to be the person that brings this to life. And so I thought a long time about the core values that I want to be reflected in the fellowship. And for me, they come down to four core values, curiosity, productivity, inclusiveness, and playfulness. Let me explain all four of those with a bit of a story and a little bit more background on who I am. So back when I was at university studying in Cape Town in South Africa, I was doing a degree in business finance with a major in accounting. I actually ended up being qualified as a chartered accountant in South Africa, CPA here in America. I would print out Wikipedia articles, just stacks of them. I have no idea why I would print them out. I guess we didn't have iPads. And I would go and just chill outside, sitting next to a pool or under a tree and just kind of read through about famous philosophers and inspiring people and throughout history, just learning what I could about how they did what they did and ideas that they had. And I often did this at the expense of going to lectures. And this wasn't necessarily the best advice ever, but it was just a reflection of the curiosity I've always had. And to me, that's such, a, such an important underpinning value and one of the big things I wanna to bring to on deck course creators. But even though I missed lectures, it doesn't mean I wasn't productive. So the way I approached that was to 
basically designed learning sprints for myself back in the day. This is not how I thought about it at the time, but what I used to do, because I wasn't really attending lectures that often during the semester, when it came to exam time, I would set aside about a month before and I would literally just lock myself in the apartment that I was in and I would get completely clean and healthy in terms of just sleeping really well, um, you know, going to bed early, waking up and then working throughout the day just to, to make sure that I got through everything that needed to get through for the exams. I, would, I started meditating, I started drinking, you know, green tea and, and it was funny like saying all these things now, it sounds sort of trivial, but I, I got more done in that, in that, you know, three or four weeks than I would have done, I think, throughout the entire semester just by attending lectures. So the second value is productivity. This course creator fellowship is going to be an eight week long sprint with a ninth week where you present what you've created in those eight weeks. It's going to be intense and there's a lot of work that goes into creating an online course. But if you take the time, work with your fellows and do the assignments and homework and suggestions that, that we recommend you do, you will come out of this with a fully fledged online course. And if you already have one, you're going to come out of this with a much better one. So that's the second value. The other thing I probably should have mentioned about my time at university is that I grew dreadlocks. For about two years I had dreads and, and one of the things that having dreadlocks taught me was that people look at you differently, right? The you People judge you and I used to kind of enjoy seeing that reaction from people and almost having an opportunity to prove them wrong when they had made these sort of assumptions in their minds about who I was. And that helped me realize that that exact same thing is going on for everyone, including me doing that to others. Having assumptions and making judgments about people based on their appearance or their circumstances or their background. And it just really helped me connect with something that I've done always as, as a kid growing up. I was always the one that wanted to include the new person in the group. Um, that was something that's just always been important to me. I, you can ask all my friends, whenever there's a new person in the group, I always sort of gravitate to them, want to make them feel comfortable and, and, and included. And so the third core value for on-deck course creators is inclusiveness. We're a community that embraces the diversity that everyone brings. And we encourage people to, to be themselves and to express themselves so that we increase the amount of diversity and the amount of ideas and different ideas that are being shared. And finally, the fourth value is playfulness. Now having dreadlocks is probably a little bit a part of this as well, but I've always felt that life is to be enjoyed. Life is to be experienced to its fullest and to be doing something that you're extremely passionate about. There's an amazing passage from Shakespeare that I refer to often when I'm talking about this, this value to others. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. I just love that, that this idea that all the world is a stage, and we're, we're playing a game, we're having fun. And that's the fourth and final core value for the On Deck Course Creator community. We're here to have fun. I can't honestly think of anything more fun than getting to teach others something that I'm passionate about. I cannot wait to have that opportunity to do it with you. And I cannot wait to learn what you have to teach me. So there you have it. The core values are so, so important. So as you spend time thinking about them, here are a couple of things that, that I would pay attention to. First and foremost, are the core values yours? They need to be personal. You need to feel them, you need to breathe them, you need to live it. So what I would recommend you do is sit down and actually write out what is important to you. Go through that list once you're done with that and identify the things that you think would resonate as a community or in the community that you're trying to build. Right? Not everything is gonna be applicable to that. I drew out those four based on a lot more things that are important to me, but those four really felt like they were important to find the approach that we're gonna to take to building the community around course creators. Secondly, I would frame them in terms of the people that are gonna be in your community. 
So when I was thinking about those four again, I want people who are curious, productive, inclusive, and playful. Those were the ideal characteristics I wanted to see in people that come into the, into the fellowship. So think about it again in, in, when you're looking at your list in their terms and are these things that would resonate with people so that, you know, so that they recognize that thing in themselves and those are the kind of people you're attracting. And finally, practice. This was one of the hardest videos I've had to record because for some reason, for me at least, it's really hard to talk about things that are personal to me and to, to be authentic and share that with you know, whoever is watching this video with you. So get practice at it. I have done many, many recordings and, uh, and versions of this particular video and um, I'm finally happy with where it's at now, but I highly recommend practicing this over and over again. You also just will refine your core values as you hear them watching yourself back afterwards. So yeah, make it personal to yourself. Make sure that it reflects, it resonates for others and it attracts the kind of people you want to attract and practice this. Let me know in the comments below what your core values are and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.